Welcome to the NWA Florida Underground Wrestling's In Your Face. I'm Larry Podger. This is Jeff Byron. The FUW universe has been rocked this month by the dethroning of longtime Florida heavyweight champion and former WWE superstar Michael Tarver by the virtual unknown character going by the name The Grease and his menacing valet, Miss Sleazy. And I gotta tell you, Larry, this Grease guy, he's one of the shadier characters we've seen in a while. The whole way he got to the belt just doesn't smell right. It all started back in June when the Greek god Demos was scheduled to challenge Michael Tarver for the heavyweight championship at Throwdown 4 in Tampa. However, a week before, at a house show in Kissimmee, this happened. Ooh! Demos has Tarver reeling after that vicious spear. Tarver looks like he's done, Larry. He's on the ground. Damos is just taunting him at this point. I mean, it's, it's just a matter of when he pins him now. He's in real trouble. And here he oh. oh, my goodness. Oh. Tarver comes out of nowhere with that right hand 1.9 punch. And Larry, I, I think he's actually hurt. I don't know if there's medical personnel, but he is not even moving. He's not even making an effort to get up at this point. Damos is out cold. Ooh, and I was right, Larry. Deimos was hurt and bad at that. You know, we heard later on that week that he actually suffered a broken orbital socket. And since Deimos was scheduled to face Tarver at Throwdown 4 for the heavyweight championship, Commissioner Dante Brown ordered a lottery-style drawing to determine Tarver's opponent. And you know, they had the lottery, and surprise, surprise, the Greece was declared the winner of it. But you kind of have to wonder if he had a hand in it. The legitimacy of that drawing was called into question after this cryptic message released by the Greece later that week. You know, when you hit Deimos with that infamous right hand of yours, you exposed yourself because you knew that I would be the only one who would win a lottery to challenge you for the next Florida Heavyweight Championship. Did you really think that anyone else would win that lottery but me? A numbers game? The Grease? <laughs> of course I would win. Oof, that Grease guy, he's about as scummy as you can get. And at Throwdown 4, Michael Tarver did defeat the Grease with his 1.9 overhand right punch. And that 1.9, that's a lethal throw. That's his finisher. You know, he calls it that because that's about how fast you hit the mat after he throws it. Take a look right here. And our story wasn't over there. The Grease reemerged only a couple weeks later with some pretty serious accusations against Michael Tarver. Because ever since Throwdown 4, when you pin me, one, two, three, I just haven't been able to get it out of my mind because nobody has ever hit me that hard. And I've been hit by the toughest sons of bitches on this planet. Don't you think I don't know what's going on? Nobody ever looks at your gloves, Michael Tarver. The referee. The boys in the back, nobody. But I know now. Miss Sleazy pointed it out to me. Nobody, nobody puts the grease down, including you. But on July 27th, there'll be nothing, <laughs> nothing for you to hide because this contract right here says we get a full examination of your gloves and your hands before any rematch with the grease. And so if you're wearing one of these, pair of brass knuckles, some plaster of Paris. I don't know. In the wake of these allegations, a rematch was scheduled for Throwdown 5 between Tarver and the Greece. However, the Greece refused to fight, citing purported issues about Tarver's gloves and accusing him of outright cheating. And he didn't stop there. The Greece also had Tarver sign an absolutely ridiculous contract. He not only had to agree to a pre-match inspection of his gloves, but he also had to agree that he wouldn't use that 1.9 we talked about earlier at any point during the match. 
His integrity called into question. Tarver signed the contract despite its unreasonable terms. And he's absolutely regretting it now, I can guarantee that. Tarver certainly is regretting signing that contract now, Jack. At Throwdown 6 in a brass knuckles match for the FUW Championship, Tarver was pushed to his breaking point by the Grease's low ball tactics. First, this low blow. Then, with brass knuckles locked and loaded, the Grease crushed Tarver's skull. Miraculously, Tarver kicked out and a shocked Grease momentarily lost concentration, giving Tarver the opportunity to gain control of the brass knuckles. But Tarver had forgotten himself and used his 1.9 right hand punch to tattoo the Grease with the brass knuckles. Without thinking, the referee made the three count. However, a second referee came out of the back and ordered the decision reversed per the contract, declaring the Greeks the new heavyweight champion and changing the face of FUW forever. But what do we really know about this Greeks? He claims to be a practicing attorney, which our research did verify. However, our investigators also pointed out that numerous criminal background issues prevented the Greeks from being admitted into the bar for years. You know, that's really not surprising, especially given his penchant for expensive liquor, sometimes even before his matches. There's also been talk in the locker room of his ties to organized crime, but nothing has been substantiated. Well, what we do know for sure is that Michael Tarver is mad. He is frustrated, he is angry, and he is on the warpath to get his title back. And with the nastiest right hand in the business. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> Anything's possible. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to FUW In Your Face. I'm Larry Podger. I'm Jack Byron. On some inspiring news, fans have recently seen the debut of former TNA superstars Matt Morgan and Jesse Sorensen. Sorensen suffered a devastating neck injury back in February 2012 that left him out of action for nearly 18 months. We're proud to have Jesse back in the ring entertaining our fans. And then you got the giant Matt Morgan. I mean, I've seen this guy. He is actually 10 feet tall. Yes, the 6'11 Matt Morgan is primed to be an FUW contender right out of the box. Here's Morgan taking on Kenny Cameron at Throwdown 6. Oh, <laughs> 
We did just watch a great match between Matt Morgan and Kenny Cameron, but honestly, Jack and I are having a little trouble concentrating right now. Apparently, the Grease just released some disturbing video on the FUW website. I'm sorry, Mike. We had it queued up. What happened? Do we have that? We ha it doesn't matter. Just get it going. Just hit the, hit the button. The, there's one button. I, th I think he's got it. Okay. We're, we're ready. Well, we are out of time, but we're going to leave you with the footage. I'm Larry Podger. And I'm Jack Byron. This has been FUW In Your Face. Sleazy. Read me off that list again. Bruce Jesse Sorensen, Michael Tarver, <laughs> Kenny Cameron, Matt Morgan, mm. and Mitch Mitchell. Okay. Well, look, Bruce Santee, he's a hothead, but he's a former champion, so he's going to want his shot eventually. You gotta be ready when he does. On the other hand, Jesse Sorensen's 18 months off a broken neck. He has weaknesses, and they need to be exploited. And what about Tarver? Well, as you know, I have infiltrated Tarver's mind. He's frustrated. He's angry. I have him right where I want him. Nonetheless, he still needs to be our number one priority. Kenny Cameron, on the other hand, he's a tough bastard. But he's sloppy. Alcoholic. I don't want the FUW title will fall to a degenerate Brit. I'm still concerned about Matt Morgan. Hmm. Don't worry about Matt Morgan. He just got released from his TNA contract. He's gonna need money. Now, if his integrity gets in the way of his business sense, we'll readdress the situation. But for now, I'll hold off. Who else? Mitch Mitchell. Ah, yes. Mitch Mitchell. Brings back a lot of fond memories, don't it? Hmm. He's all heart, but green as can be. I don't want that persistence, though become an annoyance. I'll make a note. You're a very smart man. If you play your cards right, you'll be a very rich man. 